The subject of waxing a chain has been around for quite some time now and we've had so many requests for a video on it, so that's what I'm going to give you. How to wax your chain. Now there'll be some of you as well who are asking, why would I want to do that? What's the point in waxing my chain? Well, according to Friction Facts and Velo Magazine, there's actually a number of benefits. One of them is performance gains. Everybody likes that, right? Also, it repels dirt, and that really means that your drivetrain is going to last a little bit longer. You won't have all that grinding feel. Now, the UK is not really blessed with great weather, so this is probably the ideal place to give it a try. Now, before we get started, you're going to need to do a few things. You're going to have to have a perfectly clean drivetrain. So your chain rings, chain, jockey wheels and cassette. Make sure that there's no dirt on there, no grime, no existing lubricant. All of those, make sure it's gone. There's a link in the description below if you're unsure of how to do that. Uh, click through to that and you will be able to do that easily. Also, importantly, you're going to need this. This is some paraffin wax. It's available in hardware stores or even online, so get some of that. Preferably try and get some small granules because it will melt a lot faster than the big chunks. You're also going to need one of these. This is a slow cooker, also known as a crock pot. Get one of these because it's much safer than doing it on a hob at home. Also, get yourself some gloves, some safety glasses, and also one of these coat hanger. You'll probably have one of those lying around. That's important. You'll see why. Maybe some old rags and some newspaper just to prevent any drips and you're good to go. Okay, you've got yourself one of these. A nice and clean, free of contamination, no dirt whatsoever, lovely chain. That is ultra important to make sure the wax sticks to it. Okay, you're going to have to preheat the, the slow cooker and then get your paraffin wax or your bar, whichever, whichever you decide to buy, pour it in. Now you're going to need enough in there that the chain itself is actually submerged inside. Should take probably that much, probably five to ten minutes to melt. In the meantime, Keep a close eye on it because you don't want this going out of hand. Shouldn't do, not in this. And whilst you're waiting for it to melt, you can also give it a little stir as well, just to make sure that you're not getting any solid bits of wax in there. You know, there's no lumps. It'll also help speed up the process a little bit. So now that your wax has melted, you're going to need to slowly lower the chain into the wax and leave it for about 20 minutes or until there's no small bubbles appearing from the, the links and the rollers of the chain. Now with a hook, or in my case, an old coat hanger. You just hang up the chain. It's a little bit warm, so you are gonna to wanna to wear some protective gloves. Hang the chain up to drip dry. That's gonna take probably between 10, 15, 20 minutes, depending on how hot it's got inside of your slow cooker. The good news is though, I've got a chain that I prepared earlier. Why have I got one? Well, in between, the, the, uh, the chain cooking in its wax. Sly Richardson ran in, gave me another chain, and said he wanted to give this a try. So uh, yeah, I've got two of them now. So here's one which is already been melted in the wax. As you can see, the links are actually a little bit stiff. Reason being, the wax has got well and truly inside of those rollers. So what you're gonna wanna do is actually flex the chain around a bit and break off that wax. So that wax, essentially, you don't want it going everywhere. You don't want it to be filling up your drivetrain and risk gunking it up. Also, with a cloth, simply take it and wipe away any excess wax that you may have on the outside of the chain, because it's no good there. What you want to make sure is that it's the inside of the chain inside the pins and rollers, that's where the wax has gone. The good news as well, that wax in there, you can reuse it. So just put the lid on, turn it off. Next time you wanna wax your chain, there it is. Now all that's left for me to do is to go and fit these back onto my bike and Simon's bike. Unfortunately, I've got to do his too. And we're gonna come back and actually report to you on what we found. Okay, so we've both been out, we've both given it a test. Sai, what do you reckon of it? 
Well, firstly, I've got to say thank you very much, John, for actually getting me a chain and preparing it for me because it's something I've been intrigued about for a long time, but honestly, I've never actually been bothered to do. So it's been blooming interesting. My first thoughts, I'm not entirely sure what I think about gold chains, but apart from that, uh, it's quite noisy, isn't it? For something that I, ex I expected it to be like ghostly silent, and it's not, but it is, it is still clean. I needed 60K on it, but 60K in autumn in the UK is pretty grim. So, you know, it's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the noise factor, actually we did hear back at Eurobike from our friends at Ceramic Speed that in fact a silent chain doesn't necessarily mean a faster chain. So you spent a lot longer on it than I did, didn't you? You did what, a couple hundred K? Yeah, yeah, about 200, 250K. Um, sort of just finding the, the noise really was the only thing which was off-putting. The bike though, the chain rather, spotless. Drivetrain, absolutely spotless. So yeah, you, I get the feeling then that if you've got the time and you really want to maximise the efficiency of your bike, then it's a good thing to do. Particularly maybe if you're about to do like an epic 12 hour ride in bad conditions. I could definitely see it's worthwhile. But it's interesting about you saying that ceramic speed sets faster. Personally, this might be controversial to some, I'm willing to sacrifice a couple of watts for a silent bike because I just prefer bikes that don't make any noise. So there we are. He's spoken. Well, what about you? Are you going to do well, it again? I think, I'll, I think I'll do it again, yeah. Really? Yeah. The only thing that's put me off is to having to buy a new, uh, a new power link or joining link each time. Yeah. That's the only thing really which puts me off doing it because um, I'm not sure how long it's going to last. Apparently, so they say, when it does wear away and you need to re-coat it in wax, the noise, is, the noise tells you that it needs re-coating. So it's quite, it gets even louder. Yeah, quite a scream, <laughs> apparently. Quite a scream. Well, next time you melt your paraffin wax bath, then just drop one in for me, mate. I'll, yeah, you know, no problem. Thanks very much. Yeah. Yeah, I will do. <laughs> All right, do make sure you subscribe to GCN after this video. To do that, just click on John's handily placed globe. Sorry, mate, I've nicked your subscribe there. Do you want to throw some videos? <laughs> yeah, so to learn how to fit and uh, re fit and refit a chain, that's with Sai. Click just down here. Yeah, and for one more. Oh, let's do how to get your drivetrain perfectly clean. Nice. Where's that? That was just down there, mate. <laughs>